I don't know where to go. <sighs> so, hello everybody, what is going on dude? Today is Kibesh and Micah here, and welcome back to some more Kid Icarus. Last time, we went ahead, finally finished up the fortress, sort of. We got every single centurion freed, now with nothing more. We just have to make our way to the boss. But, of course, there is a few areas that I just want to pr quickly gleam on over because we haven't actually opened them up on our map. And I kind of want to do so for the sake of kind of completion in a way. If I head over to this room, we actually get to the other side that we've always fallen through. There we go. As long as you can time your jump right, you can get right by without having to worry so much. Slip on by them, and now, yep. It's that one room with all those eggplant wizards. Those two that might annoy you and cause problems if you are not careful. If you manage to sneak by them, boom. And we're back here on the main floor. Uh, I don't believe there's anything we'll miss out on in particular if we go left. Yep, yeah, because we'll be in this room, which will connect us back up to the hot springs. If we go to the right, it actually brings us close to the room that we fell from. The entrance, which you can never really gain access to from the beginning, so it's all right. It's not a room loss or anything. Head on down here, and now there you go, near the beginning and near the boss room, of course. Boom, boom. Careful of the eggplant wizards. Right. I don't think we can go this way. Don't. Or please don't. Don't get hit there. Oh, this is supposed to fall here. No! Okay, I gotta wrap around. Damn it, I hate, I hate that I do that. Yeah, I gotta loop all the way around now. Let's get back to the boss room. Well, thank goodness I didn't get turned into an eggplant, but still. Let's hope that we don't take too much damage. We'll see what happens. Do, do, do. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you. Just run right by them because I ain't got nothing to worry about with either. Jump! Oh, thank goodness for iframes. That <sighs> barely hit me. It's fine. Passed by a nurse on the way there. Also passed by the hospital in the meantime too. But then uh, there's the hot springs. Damn it! I was really hoping I was like, please don't get turned into an eggplant. I'm doing so well. Come on. <sighs> Fine. So right by these guys. Heal. Cause I need it. Alright, and then from here, gotta get the hot springs, and then I can go take on the boss. Not the hot springs. The nurse. The hospital. I keep saying like nurse and hot springs and things like that. It's not that hard. Okay. We just gotta make a mad dash all the way to the right. All the way to the right. I can talk without fumbling my words or st stumbling over my letters. Don't need it. Actually, I'll take the bottle of life. I could always use an extra one. Run right by you. More eggplant wizards, fine. We're already eggplants anyway, so it's okay. I guess. Go down this way. This is a bad time. Yep. Oh, whatever. I believe going to the right takes us to that. Somehow hit me, whatever. Move the eggplant curse, please, and thank you. Now, I believe it's just down here. Is it? No. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we have to go further down, duh. We've already lost a whole health bar, which sucks. Whatever, it's fine. Also, I don't know if I ever went over it, but one health bar after the first equates to eight hits total. So, if you want to do a little bit of math on that, and just see how well you can keep yourself, I guess, alive. That is basically it. It is eight hit points. Please stop getting stuck on stuff. Eight hit points total. Meaning, every single hit, or total hits we have is, uh, what is it? Eight times four is 36. Plus seven is forty. Ten, six. Math. Boom, boom, boom. Eight times six. Oh my god. Eight times four. 
30, 32 plus 7, 39. There we go. Total of 39 hit points. That's how many hit points that pit has. There we go. After following that long winded path, we are now at the boss. With 32 centurions to our aid and about three and a half bars. Step in. Tackle the Hedru, which is a lizard like creature. These centurions can do some pretty good damage and they can help us out a lot. As long as they don't get hit. Once they get hit, they go down. I never really got to go over Centurions too much. There we go. As long as you keep spamming fire, you should be able to just do dish us pretty good damage. Now. There we go. In total, I don't know how much health he has, but I do know that we are dwindling through our Centurions quite quickly. I think you can only get hit in the head, which is kind of bad for me, because it's a really awkward spot. How much more do you need? Come on! Thankfully I have some bottles of life, but still! Come on! Just keep firing. Only takes hits from the head, which sucks because it's such a very specific shot. Uh, the Hadron, I think it was called. There we go. Gosh, the Hadron is dealt with like that. Ow. Thankfully, we took care of it. Yeah, that's how he works. He springs about the room, ricocheting off of every single wall, direction, ceiling, and floor. And your only way to deal damage is by hitting him directly in the head. If you miss, you miss. Keep trying, keep aiming, keep trying to be as proficient as you can with it, and uh, you should be okay. I didn't really go over the first boss either, Twin Bellows, and I kind of feel bad for that, but at the same time I don't. We have Sky World now. Um, with Twin Bellows, he just kind of fires off rampantly. <gasps> Thank you. He fires off rampantly, and uh, continues to just wail and do fire fireballs across the screen. However, as you saw, as long as you have Centurions and yourself, and you have the ability to, you can fire and then duck to fire even faster, which is really cool and really helpful, can do you a lot of good. Now, with all of Pit's weapons available to us, we can fire so much faster, and we have fire aerials now available to us. We can make them swirl, we can protect ourselves pretty well, we're at full health now, we have all the weapons we need. Now it's time to scale once more as we zoom through Skyworld. Yep, it is time for a trip through lovely little Skyworld. There's a lot to see, there's a lot to, and I wouldn't say miss out on, but there is a lot to keep in mind. There's these Centurions, sort of, they are kind of just waiting for us. They can be a bit difficult and annoying, but there shouldn't be too, much, too many problems. Ooh, there is a slight frame slowdown, so I'm a little worried about that. Let's go. You grant a lot of XP, which is really nice. I will say this, as much as you probably enjoyed getting all these points and such, try not to waste them. Before the end of this, you want to have 999 hearts. Reason being is because you actually get something special, what is considered to be the quote-unquote best ending, if you are able to, um, well, have all of that by then. We have these little orbs that we just have to carefully, damn it, carefully, uh, traverse. Thankfully, we're next to a hot spring. We start at the base of this world. So yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun. We have a lot more scaling to do. Angel feathers are gonna be your best help. They're gonna be your best friends in this coming area. We have a lot to, to prepare for because this is this world stages. I guess these next three stages might be our most difficult, and they lead us to the end. There isn't much more after we're done with this, so keep that in mind, I suppose, and just prepare for what is to come. 
be more. Alright, cool. Yeah, why not? I'll take all the shamans. I'll take care of them all. I'll get all the experience and all the hearts I can get, because I do need them. And I recommend you do too. Hopefully by this point you already have a point score of 200,000. Um, and you have all of your hit points. And hopefully, at one way or another, you do get the next uh, arrow upgrades. Or the, 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 last, the last few remaining arrow upgrades. Because they will be a big help if you can uh, manage to get them. Please. Ugh, damn it, I was trying to go that. Because you, you do kind of need them. You do kind of need them. Uh, again, just strike as many as you... As many enemies as you can. Um, strike as many enemies as you can, and keep on swinging. Keep keep doing a lot of damage, as much damage as possible. It should be okay. But other than that, there's not much more for me to know. That's gonna be it for me for now. Next time, we go through Sky World. We wrap it up and put it in, hopefully, to Medusa's Reign of Terror soon, and we reunite with Lady Politano. Hope you guys did enjoy though, and I'll be seeing all of you dudes later. Peace out, everybody.